I don't know what to tell you about my art practice. Uh, I think a lot of people would describe it as very diverse. Um, I just tend to work on ideas that grab me often from outside circumstances. It can be by chance. It might be like uh, current affairs. It might be about somebody I've met. In 2016, I was lucky enough to be awarded a scholarship, the John Kinross Scholarship to study in Florence, and that was an amazing experience for me. It exposed me to lots of uh, wonderful uh, visual arts, uh, wonderful architecture, uh, great street life, and a very vibrant uh, political scene. After seeing A. Y. Way's amazing response to the migrant crisis at the Pitti Palace. Uh, I was thinking that peace might be crafted and built like uh, some of these amazing buildings, but unlike them, it could be broken easily with careless words or ideology or a stray bullet. Uh, the LED rifle shells on my sculpture were the pulsing of an idea or a heartbeat, a moment uh, extended or ended by will or by its own energy. I was totally seduced by the Italian iconography. It seemed to me the more innate a piece was, the more deliberate the attempt to freeze or maintain the idea for that precious moment. I was, in the end, I was really pleased that this sculpture entered the RSA collection and went on to be included in the Art UK catalogue. When I came back, I had a great opportunity to build a commemorative sculpture for Toy Academy, my old school. It turned out to be another icon. I built and designed this uh, piece with my husband Dave. We had to be moved three times to fulfil our brief. There were over 600 names engraved on that tree. Um, those were the people who were present in the last year of the school's life. This year I've been inspired and troubled as usual by words and ideas. The vast plethora of political statements and warnings and my misgiving about our treatment of Mother Earth has resulted in Bell Jar, which I hope uh, captures the claustrophobia of lockdown. I've done this with a person that I collaborated with last year, Ruth Kent Dancer, and uh, this is what I like about Hado. It fosters these collaborations, and although the subjects are serious, we do have quite a lot of fun creating.